All right, well, hey everybody. Um, today is a very important day, which is that we're gonna create an account on GitHub. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. The purpose of this video is to show you how to set up your first web page, your first online web page. I am mainly making this video for the sake of the teachers out there who may wanna take um, the STEM coding activities and sort of like change little parts of it uh, to better tune it to their classrooms because I, I, I try my hardest to make it as exciting, as interesting as it can be, but there's always things that people might want to sort of change the wording of or, or give the students other kinds of advice. And so, uh, so if a teacher was going to take uh, the HTML page that I make for a particular activity and modify it, there's a very nice video by my friend Jimmy Newton, um, who's a computer science teacher in Texas. So he, he put a nice, he made a nice video that I put in the description of this link of sort of how to do that. Um, so let's say that you've got an HTML web page, um, it, whether it's a simple one or a complicated one, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, but you want to post that to the web. So you've you followed the directions on uh, Jimmy's uh, YouTube uh, video on how to sort of modify these HTML pages. And now you actually want to put it online. What is the easiest way of getting an HTML page online? Um, at the moment, I think uh, the answer to that is GitHub Pages, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, it is a, a momentous moment in, in everyone's life when you first make your GitHub account. Um, I, I have another GitHub account, but I'm going to register one right now. Um, so this video is only going to get one take, um, so hopefully I get this, this right, because I don't want to have to redo it again. So my username, I'm going to do STEM coding. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Um, you got to give it an email, so maybe give them an email like that, uh, and then go ahead and give them a password. Um, so let me come up with another, let me do that one. Okay, so I have signed up for GitHub, I created an account, and uh, they want to verify the account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that step. I'll probably edit this video so you don't actually see this part, but I'll go ahead and, and do that step. Um, first, they want you to roll the image. Okay, so that's the polar bear is probably going like that. So let's do that. Um, Got to roll the image again. All right. Let's do, let's do that. There we go, 20.6 seconds. Great. Um, so I guess the account's verified now. Uh, and then I want to join with a free plan. Okay. And maybe I want a prod, maybe I want project, product updates, maybe I don't, but um, I'm going to join GitHub with a free plan. What kind of work do I do? Um, maybe I'm a teacher, let's say that. Um, let's say I have a little bit of programming experience. Um, let's let's say that schoolwork. Interested in I don't know. Whatever. All right. Complete setup. They want me to verify my email address. That's fine. I can go ahead and do that. Verify. Verify. So there you go. I'm going to verify it like that. And uh, the first thing you want to do, and what we're going to do today, is create a repository. A repository is, is basically a very fancy word for a folder. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and when I get to this page, I want to create a repository. So there we go. Um, now this repository name can be anything. Um, what I'm going to do is my repository is going to be used to, to show uh, modified STEM coding activities or something. So what I might want to do, I don't know, I'm going to call it Teacher Pages, is what I feel like calling it. And, uh, and so once I've done that, then this thing down at the bottom shows up, Create Repository. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, Teacher Pages, and that'll just take a minute. Okay. Now I'm going to get to this screen. This screen looks a little bit scary. Now we've reached the scary part of GitHub, right? 
because there's all sorts of stuff of like if you have this here's the command line and then configure this thing and do your first commit and then port from another repository or any anyway very scary here is the easy part uh, upload an existing file so you want to click this upload an existing file and the file that you want to upload is is some sort of HTML page that maybe you've edited after watching Jimmy's video um, or maybe it's something that you just happen to have um, so in Jimmy's video he's taking some of my HTML pages describing my activities modifying it um, and making sure that all the links work which takes a few minutes um, but uh, so this is the page that we have so you can choose a file um, you can give some comments on that file if you want to and then you can commit the changes so what I'm gonna do is um, uh, last night I was working on uh, sort of making minor updates to bellicose birds so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm going to um, which I already updated on like the Ohio State version but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, find it here and I'm using Linux but you know you can use anything that you want to to kind of do this so anyway here's my HTML file and I'm just gonna double click that and so that's there now that hasn't nothing has actually really happened yet because I haven't actually commit I haven't actually uh, committed the changes so you can upload files but until you click commit um, then nothing has really happened so um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do that and the goal is to get this HTML page uh, up on the internet so someone else can read it or students can read it or something like that it's going to, so I'm going to go ahead and commit the changes here like that it's important to commit people uh, commitment is important all right so now it's committed and uh, and that's great and you know if I click on the file I can see what's in that file which I could already see I could already open this thing up in a, on a text editor on my on my computer that's not really the point but if you click there that's what you can do now the goal of all this is to uh, put this on the internet somehow uh, right um, so how are we going to do this well um, the trick to that is you go to settings uh, you click there and blah 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 There's all, all these settings blah 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 um, you want to go to the part that talks about github pages okay uh, it says github pages is currently just disabled um, select a source below to enable github pages for this repository github pages is 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 like the free website that github offers so that's so this is the part that we want uh, and then but the thing is that it wants to know which part of your github account do you want to actually use as a thing that becomes the page and you basically you have you have two options here you have nothing or master so master is like the main the main uh, part of your repository um, so like when you make when you're coding sometimes you have different uh, versions of the code a lot of people will call those different versions branches because they're derived from the same main master trunk of a tree so that's why the people use the word branch so here we don't have multiple branches we don't have multiple versions of this HTML file we only have one HTML file and it's in this it's in the main thing so all you got to do is click master that's it don't even mess with this okay root what is that I don't even know what that is all right what I do know is if you click master and you click save um, by the way there is a movement among computer science education folks to sort of you know rename this sort of master idea uh, I personally prefer the term captain something like that um, anyway so now that so all we did all we did all we did all we did was we we went here we clicked master we click save boom that's done now you look you notice here it says your site is ready to be published at blah 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 stemcoding.github.io slash teacher pages um, and that's good 
So if I go here and I click on it, by the way, if I click on this, nothing is actually going to happen. Uh, for some reasons we'll get to, but if I do control click here, that'll open it up here and it'll say page not found. Um, but if I go over here, um, if I go over here, uh, I see, okay, the name of the file is bellicosebirds.html. So if I do this, and I type bellicosebirds.html, right, because this is in, in the teacher pages folder. Uh, this file is in the folder. So I called the folder. But web browsers don't know how to open folders. Uh, they only know how to open HTML pages. So if I add an HTML page to this and I hit enter, boom, there it is. This is the actual HTML file that I opened. Um, and it's possible to go over and to, you know, op you know, to commit a new version of this HTML file, things like that. Um, the other thing that you can do is uh, what I want to do is I want to add a file. Um, so I'm going to click Upload Files again. And so once again, it's going to say, hey, you got to click here to open up your files. Um, I, have a, I have a file here. I call it index.html. You can call it whatever you want. Um, uh, I'll show you what's in this file in just a second, but let me go ahead and upload it. So and by upload, I mean commit commit the changes to the master branch. Um, all right. So, da, 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 da. all right, so here's index.html. What is in that file? By the way, you can edit these files with Notepad. Um, Jimmy likes to edit the files with Microsoft Visual Studio, which is a free program for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Anyway, so the only thing in this file is, is Bracket HTML, like, so a nice thing you can do is click raw. So there's this raw thing here. I click raw. The only thing that's in this file is HTML. This is a website. And then this is a link in HTML to bellicose birds. So you all know how to program in HTML now. This is HTML, that's it. Um, and so now that I've uploaded this file, again, the file is called index.html. Um, then I can go over here and I can type uh, index.html right there and sure enough it comes up, okay? And so uh, this is a website, indeed it is, and then the link here is to Bellicose Birds. Now remember that uh, when we're looking at this file, so there's this, so href, so that's hyperlink reference I think is what that stands for. Um, to bellicosebirds.html, that's the other file that we put into this folder. And we we wrote this text here to, if you click it, to go to this thing. And so if I click this, boom, there it is. Okay? So 100% for free, you can upload HTML pages to GitHub and just share this link with your friends or your students. Um, to be able to access whatever it is that you need to access. Now, in this, I have been very lazy and sloppy, and I have not bothered to make sure that the links are pointing uh, to my original site. And if you watch Jimmy's video, um, he'll show you how to make sure that works. So for example, this link is not gonna work. Um, uh, so because it's pointing, basically it needs to be pointing to the full uh, URL instead of just sort of assuming that the file is, is in, in a nearby folder. Um, but this will work and this will get you started. And if this helps, so teachers out there, if this helps you survive um, the COVID experience for the fall and distance learning, uh, that's fantastic. Um, if you have any questions on this, feel free to hop on Twitter, um, send us a question. For educators, we also have a Slack channel. So if you'd like to talk to talk to other educators, that would be great. But I, I sincerely hope that this was all uh, very, very helpful to you for sort of customizing things for this fall. So thanks everybody.